What's up, everyone? Sincere Hogan here for the International Kettlebell Games. That's internationalkettlebellgames.com. And I'm here to explain another one of the events that we're bringing forth for the 2014 Games and Qualifiers. So what we have coming up next is what I like to call the Kettlebell rope -a dope Come around and let me show you what I'm talking about here. So the Kettlebell rope -a dope involves two exercises, and they're kind of a get-up style exercise. The first is going to be the battling rope get-ups, and you're going to perform it for one minute. And when that minute is over, you go right into what I call the kettlebell goblet get up and perform that for one minute. And you're going to continue to do this for five rounds. So one minute, one minute, that's the end of round one. Do it again, back to back, round two. Back to back, round three. Back to back, round four. Back to back, round five. Each one of these are going to be for a minute. Now, the way we're going to tally up the score here is get as many reps as possible when you stand up to full extension. That counts as a complete rep. So, and I'm going to show you the exercise in just a second. When you do as many reps as possible in that time period for five minutes, not two minutes, but for, excuse me, damn it, Sincere. <laughs> Keep going. I'm tripping because I've just been doing this exercise. So, again, you're going to perform it for one minute, perform this for one minute. That's the end of the first round. And then that's when you're going to total how many you did in that minute, how many in that minute, and so on and so forth for five rounds. So, again, as I was trying to say before I was tripping, you're going to tally up the total combination reps of all of your completed reps where you come to full extension for that entire five rounds of these back-to-back. -back. That's going to determine if you're first, second, or third. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so to explain that one last time, for example, let's say, and this is a very low score, but I'm just trying to do it to keep the math simple. If you do 10 for the first round of this, of the battle rope get-ups, and then do 10 reps of the goblet get-ups in that minute, that's a total of 20 in round one, okay? Then let's say round two, you get 20 of these, 20 of these, so now you got 40. So, so far you already have a score of 60, and you keep going for round three, round four, one, five, round five. So the total combined legal reps of all five rounds is your score. Now, I think I got it. I think I got it this time, okay? If you have any questions, you can email Gary. It's all on him. All right, so, men, you're going to use the 24-kilogram bell. Ladies, you're going to use the 16-kilogram bell. Now, enough with the yip yap. Let me show you pretty much. See, that was incomplete. That was wrong right there. It's going to be five rounds, so ignore that. So, let me show you the exercises. So, when I say to get up on this, it's, it must be a up, up, down, down thing to get a full rep. Meaning, as you're alternating the ropes, you're going to go down, down, up, up to full extension. That's one rep. Down, down, up, up. That's two reps. Now, I should demonstrate. Okay? So, you ready? You go. Down, down, up, one. Down, down, up. Anytime that you have to stop, that rep does not count. Anytime that you don't come all the way up to full extension, you get a two rep demerit. So every time you come here and kind of go back down, that doesn't count. And then you're going to lose two reps. So you can't do this. Down, down, up, up, down, down. That doesn't count and you lose two reps. So stand all the way up, folks. The same thing goes for the kettlebell goblet get up as well, which I'm about to demonstrate. So, when it's time for the kettlebell goblet get up, you're going to hold the kettlebell in goblet style fashion here, and you're going to drop down, 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 up, up, that's one, down, down, up, up, that's two, down, down, up, up, that's three. So, every time you get full extension, that rep counts. Every time you don't make it a full extension, you lose two reps. So, stand all the way up, folks, okay? So that's what we're going to do. You're going to do it back to back, a minute for each station. And you're going to do that for a total of five rounds. Total number of complete legal reps, that will be used towards your score after all five rounds and determine who gets first, second, or third. All right? So if you have any questions, be sure to send them here at the internationalkettlebellgames.com website. And also, you can send them to Gary or myself, and we'll explain it if you have any questions about that. So with that being said, 
hopes for each and every one of you to one of the fastest growing games, sports that are out there right now, the International Kettlebell Games of 2014. Take care, everybody. Sincere hope for the International Kettlebell Games.